Okay, so I wanted to come on today and talk about my weight loss. Um, so about a year ago, I became vegan slash vegetarian and I lost um, a total of 70 pounds so far. Um, it's really been a journey um, and I'm not done so this is just um, me telling you about my experience and I posted my weight loss my one year weight loss on uh, Facebook and I got so many likes and people wanted to know um, how I did it, um, really what it looks like on a daily basis for me. So I wanted to come on and just do a video telling about my weight loss. So like I said, <laughs> I lost 70 pounds and um, I did it by becoming I like to call it mainly a vegetarian. Um, a year ago when I started out, I went cold turkey. Um, and I was a vegan, like strict vegan. Like no cheese, no milk, no meat, no sour cream, no, you know what I mean? No dairy, nothing that comes from an animal, pretty much. So um, in the first 30 days, I lost 30 pounds. And I was like, okay, okay, I see some, I see some results, so I can keep going. And um, but after a while, it got hard. So um, I started eating like uh, cheese. I added cheese back to my diet, and um, I, I was still losing weight, but not as much as before, not as fast as before. Um, and what else? I um sometimes I ate meat. There were times when I had um some chicken or some fish. There's still times when I have some chicken or some fish or something. But I don't I never eat a full portion of the meat. Like cuz sometimes I experience cravings. <laughs> how that sounds but I experienced cravings and so I don't want to feel deprived so I eat it sometimes but most of the time it's strictly um, vegan um, what else did I want to say? I made some notes so if I'm looking down you already know um, one thing I want to say about it is when you start your journey, whether it's um, being vegan or vegetarian or whatever it is, you're going to hit a plateau. I've hit several plateaus this year. Um, I hit a plateau after the first 30 pounds. I hit a plateau again after the next 20 pounds after that. So after I had lost a total of like 50 pounds, I hit a plateau. Um, right now, I'm not on a plateau. I'm consistently losing weight. Um, but a lot of people say don't check the scale every day or don't weigh yourself every day. I weigh myself every day. And my rationale for that is, um, I want to know what is working and what's not working. So if I weigh myself, and I'm one pound or two pounds or whatever or half a pound less than I was the day before then I know that I'm on the right track but if I eat something different and the scale goes up then I know that I can't have that or if I do have it then it has to be like in strict moderation because I have goals that I want to achieve so um, so this video is just me speaking about my weight loss. I'm going to go in depth about it and really tell like what exactly I eat um, in future videos but 
just for now I was just give you like a um a um snapshot of what I eat sometimes. Um for like breakfast I'll have like some cereal. I like the cereal with like um it's kinda like honey bunches of oats but like uh non GMO and <laughs> um I get it at Kroger in the natural section or at Whole Foods or Sprouts. Sprouts is really good because their um, food is a little cheaper than other places. Um, what else? That would be breakfast and then lunch. I'll have like a salad. Um, my favorite is Willie's because um, you can just select all the ingredients that you want and it's good. I usually get lettuce, um, brown rice, black beans, pico, cucumbers, cilantro. Give you guys my secret recipe, okay? <laughs> but um, so yep, that's what I have. And then I'll have maybe like some popcorn, like the skinny pop individual size bags of popcorn one of those um I was eating yogurt for a while like the frozen yogurt because Kroger has some and it's really good but um it's not really vegan so if you're really just trying to be strict vegan at least to start off then um they have some fruit bars like at Whole Foods they are so good um it's the Whole Foods brand and it's I think it's called Caribbean something and they're usually cheaper than the other flavors of the um, frozen fruit bars. Uh, you can find those in like the, the ice cream section. Um, what else? Um, so another thing about plateauing, I know it's like all over the place, but you know, I have to say it when I when it comes to my mind. Another thing about plateauing is that because you're going to plateau, because your body gets used to whatever you do to it, if you do it consistently, your body's going to get used to it. So you have to switch it up so you can keep losing weight. I learned that the hard way because I plateaued and I was on that plateau for like months. And so I said, whoo, you got to sh switch it up. You know what I mean? So, um, so what I'm doing now is that sometimes I have dinner, sometimes I don't have dinner because I don't want to eat late. I usually cut my meals off at 5 or 6, 7 is the absolute latest that I'm going to eat. So, um, I cut my meals off around 6, that's what I'll say, around 6. Um, so, I tend to eat less on some days because I just don't have enough time to fit in all the meals that I would regularly eat, if you understand what I mean. Like, I'll have time to eat breakfast and lunch, but if I ate lunch at like 4, then I'm not going to eat dinner, I'm not going to overeat, you know what I mean? So, um... I'll maybe have a snack, like one of those fruit bars, those frozen fruit bars that I was saying, or some popcorn, or something, just to tide me over to the next morning, because cause at first I was just eating whenever, but I was only, I was vegan, but I was eating it whenever, so I had no time limits on when I ate but I did have a limit on what I ate. So after I plateaued, then I realized I had to switch it up. So I stopped eating late. Once I stopped eating late, every morning when I woke up, it was a pound gone, two pounds gone, half a pound gone. Something was, I was weighing less than the previous morning. So, um, what else? There's so much to talk about. Um, there is one thing that I will say. 
it is hard. If you like meat, if you like bacon and hamburgers and hot dogs and <laughs> chili cheese fries or you know whatever it is that you like that comes from animals, it's going to be hard. But the purpose of me doing this video is to let you know that you can do it. I was at a point in my life where I didn't think I could lose weight. I didn't think that it would ever happen. That um, I was just okay. Well, not really okay. I was just, um, I just felt like my weight was something I was just going to have to deal with forever. But it's not really the case. Um, you can lose weight and you can do it without surgery um, and even more than losing weight your this diet vegan vegetarian but vegan is always better than being vegetarian but those two diets are the best thing that you can ever do for your body and your health because even though I'm overweight I don't have diabetes, I don't have high blood pressure, um, all those things that you associate with um, being fat. I don't have those and when I go to the doctor, they always ask, they ask before they take my blood pressure, do you have high blood pressure, do you have diabetes, and I'm like no, and then they kind of like give me this look like we don't believe you you're black and you're big so but but then I tell them I'm vegan and then they kinda get it <laughs> or I'm vegetarian and they kinda get it you know so if you have high blood pressure if you have diabetes then you can there are so many videos on YouTube where people have cured themselves like cured themselves of it um where they don't have the symptoms and things that they had before um, you can do it you can do it I suggest that you search on YouTube watch um, Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead watch Earthlings watch Veducated um, there's so many other videos on YouTube and I'm so grateful that YouTube and the people that are posting are on here and they posted what they posted. I'm so grateful because I never would have found this or done this without them. And I'm really grateful to them. And I hope that this video will help you in any way feel like you can do it. Because if you were if you are at the place where I was I just wanted somebody to tell me that I could do it. So I'm telling you, you can do it. It can happen. Don't feel like whatever state your body is in is it for you. Because it's not. Um, I've always been overweight since I was like five. And for the first time, I really feel like... I don't have to die an overweight person. I hope that doesn't sound like that, but um so please like this video, please share this video with anyone you think would be interested in seeing it. Um I'm gonna try to post on a regular basis, but follow me on Instagram because I post most of the things that I eat on Instagram. Um, I post, um, what I eat when I'm working out, I post it on Instagram, because Instagram is like my little weight loss journal type thing. So, um, on Instagram, I'm at, I'm Ashley N. Baker, and I'm going to post it, um, below this video so you can, um, follow me. And you can follow me on Facebook too. 
um, I'll probably try to put a link down below but you can do it so just you just gotta start and what I've learned this is the key thing that I've learned this is my last thought you can do it but you just have to want it bad enough when you see something that you know is not a part of your new lifestyle or your new diet think about what you want I think about when I see when I get a craving for a candy bar or a cookie or a brownie or a steak <laughs> or a hamburger I say Ashley you have a goal that is, that means so much more to you than this moment of satisfaction that you might get from this cookie or this whatever it is you want more than that this is what you want to weigh this is what you want to look like this is what you want and you will never get it if you keep giving in and just be strong and you can do it and when you feel like you can't do it you get on YouTube get your butt on YouTube and watch a video to get your mind back on the mindset of losing weight so that is it that is all I'm gonna say but look for some more videos for me because I will be posting again because I have to share this like I feel so bad when I don't share it and I know it works and and I know there's people out there that feel like I felt so follow me how do I get this thing to stop?